Hello everyone and welcome to the Mastering Ethical Hacking course. My name is Alexis and I'm going to be your instructor. Alright, so you might be wondering or thinking to yourself, why should I take this course? And why should I trust you, Alexis, to teach me ethical hacking and penetration testing? Well, let's get started. In this video, this is going to be a basic uh, course overview in terms of what we'll be looking at. And I'll be giving you information about me. Alright, so let's get started with who I am. Alright, so my name is Alexis Ahmed and I've been an ethical hacker and a penetration tester for about six years and I've had numerous uh, or a lot of experience in the security field. Alright, so I currently run a YouTube channel with over 43,000 subscribers as of recording this video uh, on ethical hacking, Linux and programming. So, uh, you know, my skill set does or is exposed out online and you can definitely tell I know what I'm doing. Alright, so when it comes down to what I do professionally, I am a penetration tester and my job is to test or to find vulnerabilities in companies, uh, company networks, uh, company websites, more specifically payment systems. That's what my speciality is. I find vulnerabilities and I help companies mitigate these risks uh, and in a way that is convenient for them. All right. So that's what I currently do. Uh, in terms of my other skills, I have been a Linux system administrator for three years and uh, that involved me maintaining, uh, running and maintaining Linux servers. So I'm pretty good with Linux. I was actually Linux Plus certified, so I am quite good with Linux. Uh, when it comes down to my full stack web de development experience, I've been a full stack web developer for about six years now. And I started my web development career back when I was 15 and uh, Essentially, again, my skill set revolves around creating uh, payment websites and finance websites or for that matter, e-commerce websites. So I'm really a special, I'm really, really a specialist in terms of integrating payment systems and so on and so forth. All right. So I've created about 200 websites for clients, you know, all around the world. Uh, what I do in my free time, I'm an Android app developer and game developer. So, you know, I'm good with uh, programming languages like Java, XML, C Sharp for, uh, you know, Xamarin for, you know, multi-platform development and Kotlin. Kotlin was my latest acquired programming skill. So I've been a seasoned Android app developer for eight years ever since I was 13. So I'm quite good with Android, you can say. And one of my latest uh, skills that I've picked up is uh, I'm essentially a cryptocurrency expert in the sense that I've uh, been with cryptocurrency since 2014 and I've uh, invested in a few cryptocurrencies and now I am a blockchain developer so I actually focus on the Solidity programming language and the development of decentralized applications. Alright, so let's get started with the first section. The first section will be looking at how to install and configure Kali Linux. Alright, so Kali Linux is going to be our penetration testing operating system for this course and it's really recommended that we go through this course with Kali Linux. Alright. We'll then move on to working with Kali Linux, where I'll make you comfortable with using Kali Linux. I'll show you how to update Kali Linux. I'll show you how to use, uh, you know, how to tunnel traffic. I'll show you a, a plethora of other uh, cool little uh, tips and tricks around uh, that involve working with Kali Linux to increase your productivity and to also get familiar with the user interface and uh, the operating system itself. All right. We'll then get started with our first phase in ethical hacking or penetration testing, if you want to consider it that. And that is the information gathering section. We will be looking at the uh, information gathering techniques and tools used. All right. So this is where I'll be showing you how to gather information about your target using the latest and industry standard tools. All right. We'll then be moving on to our fourth section in the ethical hacking uh, process, which is vulnerability assessment. Again, this is a very, very important section that not a lot of the other ethical hacking courses cover. And that's because this is very, very important when you apply penetration testing into the real world or the field, as we call it. So in this section, we'll be learning how to install and use the industry standard vulnerability assessment tools and how to obviously analyze a target and its vulnerabilities. All right, we'll then be moving to one of the most exciting phases, which is the phase of exploitation. So section five, we'll be focusing on learning the techniques and tools used in the exploitation process. Now we'll be focusing on uh, the exploitation process on a web server and also on clients. All right, so we'll be looking at web, uh, we'll be looking at server side exploitation and client side exploitation. All right, moving along. We then move on to password cracking. All right. So password cracking, this is pretty much self-explanatory. You'll be looking at the uh, techniques and tools used in password cracking. So we'll be looking at how to crack encrypted files, the different password cracking tools, word lists. I will be looking at how to crack online logins, etc., etc. 
All right, and finally, we'll wrap up the course with network sniffing and spoofing. We'll be learning again the techniques and tools used for sniffing and spoofing on your network and how to uh, really, really master the whole concept of sniffing traffic on your network. All right, so that is what we'll be looking at in this course. And uh, now for the prerequisites, because again, like any other course, uh, this course will need uh, you to come with some information uh, before we you get started. All right, so uh, one of the prerequisites in terms of knowledge and skills is that you just need to be really familiar with the operating system that you're using. So you could be using Mac, you could be using Windows, or you could be using Linux. Uh, you know, they're all good, and you just need to be familiar with how to use a computer. All right, the next thing you need to know is the basics of networking or the fundamentals of networking. Now, when I say this, what I mean is, you know, you know, simple things like TCP, that is your transmission control protocol, your IP, which is your internet uh, your protocol address, your IP address, you know, just knowing the basics of networking so that you, you're not completely lost when I'll be talking about networking in the course. All right, and finally, you just need to have a basic understanding of Linux in the sense that you should know the basic Linux commands. But regardless of that, I'll be going through them with you in the course, all right? You don't find yourself lost at all. All right, so you just need a basic understanding of the commands that we use in Linux to create directories, to go back a directory, to look up your wireless or your network interfaces, etc., etc. All right, and finally, let's look at our system requirements. All right, our system requirements are really very simple. You can be using any operating system. You could be running Windows, Linux, or Mac. And in terms of the uh, your hard drive space or the disk space required, I would recommend about 65 gigabytes to 100 gigabytes of free space. And that's because we'll be setting up our virtual lab that will include us downloading and installing an operating system, obviously, and we'll be working with a lot of files. But I would recommend a minimum of about 50 gigabytes, but a recommended size of about 65 to 100 gigabytes. Whatever you can spare, it'll work just fine. All right. As for your memory, I would recommend a minimum memory of about 4 gigabytes. And that's your RAM for those of you a bit confused. Uh, so you need about a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM. And that's because we're going to be using virtualization to virtualize Kali Linux. Now, again, you could be running 2 gigabytes. That really won't affect the learning process. It just means that your operating system will be a little bit slower. But irregardless of that, uh, a minimum of 4 gigabytes is recommended and a maximum of whatever your system is currently running. So you could be running a 12, 16 gigabytes or even 64 gigabytes of RAM. The more, the better. All right. And finally, your CPU or your processor must support virtualization. All right, now this is pretty much going to be, if you're running any computer that is newer than 2011, then you pretty much should be okay and your processor should support virtualization. All right, so those are the prerequisites for the course. And now let's look at the course goals and what you should be able to do or what you should have learned by the end of the course. All right, so we'll learn how to install and can configure Kali Linux. You learn how to set up a virtual penetration testing lab. You learn the process of information gathering on your target. You learn how to use the industry standard vulnerability scanners for vulnerability assessment so you can find vulnerabilities on your target. You'll then learn how to exploit your target, whether it be a client side target or a web server. You'll then be moving on to how to crack passwords. So you learn how to crack uh, encrypted file passwords. You learn how to use word lists. You learn how to generate word lists. You learn how to crack online logins etc etc you'll then move on to how to perform network sniffing and spoofing where you should learn the network sniffing process the different tools used in network sniffing how to start spoofing and you know how to use the man in the middle attacks to uh, intercept traffic between a target and your router or your portal all right so that is what you should be able to do after the course you should be fairly competent after this course uh, you know to go into the field and to put your skills into real practice all right, so that is a course overview for the course, obviously. And uh, I hope you're ready to learn. And uh, I'll see you in the first section. Goodbye.